Well, 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 what do we have here? How interesting. I just happened to be walking by and I saw the image on the screen. That is a big edge breakout, I think. It almost kind of looks like the north vent has reactivated. It's really hard to tell, but I'm not quite sure what's going on. <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, Lloyd, the new icon bottom left of the screen. You see that icon? That means unmute your, your audio because I'm on the mic, just in case you didn't know. See, that's just awful bright for a breakout, especially in this image here in the West Cam. And it's awful bright in the observation cam as well. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see what the next images bring. Let's see, the timestamp on this one is 2212. So that would make it 10, 12 p.m. So eight minutes ago. Oh, we're gonna wait a couple minutes to get a new image. But wouldn't this be nice if we have a new vent? It seems to be a, actually going back looking at the south cam image. Let me hold on. Let me um, let me go to this image here. And if you look up here, there is a big plume of of smoke. Um, gas, volcanic emissions, whatever you want to call them. And it's a little hard to see in this image because I've got this one zoomed in a little bit. But if I go back over to here to this one, you can see it quite clearly. So actually, let me turn the rotator off for a few minutes while we, we look at this. So yeah, so if, if we can see, you know, see this, you can see this plume right here coming up off of it. Now an edge breakout like that doesn't always necessarily produce such a huge plume. I mean, it can, and this is quite large. So this could just be one of those, you know, edge breakouts that we see, you know, against the, the, the solidified surface where it meets up against the crater wall. But this is the brighter, you know, yeah, yeah, Uncle Creepy, this is brighter than any previous ones that we've set or we've seen. So it'll be interesting to see And let's see what's the time on the cam thermal cam, same thing. Uh ten ten. So we should be getting a new thermal image here any minute. Hmm. Okay, thermal image is updated as of 10:20 p.m. OI standard, uh, and I think it's just an edge breakout. Goodness, I got all excited. This is 22:04. So let me see if I can. Force a refresh on this one. Nope, no image available yet. Hmm. 
Hmm. Boy, I tell you, sometimes at night so these images play play tricks on you a little bit. It almost looks like it's going up the crater wall, but in actuality, it's going around the perimeter. And of course, if I overlay the thermal on top of it, we get a good idea of where it actually is, but yeah. Interesting how we lost the color there, too. Oh, wow, look at that there. Isn't that cool? So we can definitely see what it is now. It is definitely an, uh, an edge uh, breakout. It's where the solidified top surface or, or edge of the top surface of the lava lake meets the crater wall so this dark here this is the the surface of the crater lake and this area here this lighter color that is actually the walls of the crater going up at an angle so yeah this is where the edge meets the wall and it you know basically finally found a, a, a way to break through So if we go and look at this map, this is actually something that I didn't talk about earlier. So y'all are actually going to get a little bit of a treat on this one. Um, if, if you look at this map, we can see here earlier earlier today, because uh, this is 325, you know, this line here. So this is 12, you know, AM, 325, 2021. And this blue line is the automatic reading from the laser rangefinder uh, set up where the camera is, where the West Cam is, looking at the surface of the lava lake. And based uh, according to USGS's information, it's, it's looking at the western uh, lake lava lake surface. So it's looking at the molten surface, not the solidified surface. So that's what this measurement ultimately is measuring, is the, uh, the uh, molten surface uh, of the lava lake. And they're using that number uh, based on you know how high the camera is perched up against it compared to how deep the crater was before the eruption started and they do the math and they get this number which gives us the the estimated depth of the the lava lake from the center down to the very very bottom so anyways uh, what we can see here is today we had a dip in the um, in the uh, depth of the lake meaning that the, the volume of lava entering it might have, have went down, uh, which allowed the, what little bit of the draining out somewhere to drain out. Um, but uh, this also could be just where we had a, a, an edge overflow. We, we see that happen all the time, you know, breakouts around the perched edge, overflows. So, you know, this is where it was perched here, and then the, the, the overflow began, and it drained out a little bit, lowering the, the depth of the lake. And then that overflow stopped, and then you know the the uh, it began to refill, and so now we're at this spot here where it's pretty much maintaining. So that means that it was basically you know it refilled, maintained, uh, got equal uh, equilibrium again, and now we get this. This is basically where the 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 overall surface of the solidified area raised. Now, not necessarily the um the lava uh molten lava see and this is this is what's happening and i don't think a lot of people understand this is that they, they think well where is the lava going the, the lava keeps pouring in and pouring in and pouring in and there's you know so it's got to be exiting somewhere and you know because the level stays you know relatively the same two three days in a row but in actuality what's happening is that uh, this level may be staying pretty much the same, you know, for two, three days in a row, but this level of the solidified area, excuse me, is, is not. Um, as more lava 
is dumped into the molten area, it's basically flowing under this solidified crust and ultimately causes it to rise. Okay, When it rises, it breaks away from the edge of the crater wall and we get these little spill outs or these out, or overflows or outbreaks, whatever you want to call them, at the, the edge where the two meet. Um, that ultimately causes this level to drop a little bit. And then it refills, and as it refills, you know, this puts more weight and pressure on what's under. That so basically, what's under, you know, applies uh, force from underneath, causing basically the surface to, to rise again a little bit. And this process is what's been going on now for for months, and this is what we've been watching. So um, I don't think, to be honest with you, that there's a drain in the lake. I think what we're seeing is an illusion uh, because we're only looking at the depth or the projected depth of this area on the laser rangefinder. So we see it go up, we see it go down, we see it stay the same, etc. But we see these edge breakouts, and we usually see these edge breakouts when we see a rise in uh, this. And we did just see that, because if we look at the, the lava lake depth, uh, we can see that, that starting back uh, up, you know, in the, uh, what would it be, the uh late mornings of the 23rd which so this is the 23rd uh so basically in the late morning just you know before noon we saw a rise in the lake level and it's been kind of maintaining that got a little bit here then dip down and then come back up uh so that that basically uh shows us that um this is the the beginning of the cycle so what we should see now that we have that edge breakout and that edge breakout is, of course, what we're talking about here, this area right here. So once, you know, since we see this, and this is a big one, um, we're probably going to see now uh, either a, a drop or a stabilization in the uh, depth number uh, for a few days uh, until enough lava has entered the system to apply enough pressure to cause the solidified surface to raise up again. So it's kind of interesting. You can think about it this way. If you watch the the uh, 2018 summit collapse, we saw the, this whole area collapse, you know, in stages, you know, and those stages, you know, kept repeating themselves one after the other, you know, over time until it hit a state of equilibrium. What we're seeing here in this lava lake is we're basically seeing uh, the, the reverse of that that summit collapse we're, we're seeing you know it, the the surface raise in stages you know over over time and it's doing this in a, in a uh, sicilic you know nature uh, which is pretty cool so okay now that we know what that was or that what that is and that it is nothing out of the ordinary other than we haven't seen one quite this brilliantly uh before it is just an edge breakout and on that note, I'm done, at least for now. I'm going to go back to, to my TV program. Uh, y'all go back to whatever y'all were doing, and uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out. And if anything changes or exciting happens, y you know I will hop on the mic to, to discuss what we are seeing. No matter how many people are here, unless, of course, I'm asleep. So, okay, buddy, you have a great night, morning, or afternoon, depending where you are, and we'll, we'll talk to you again soon.